this project, we are going to choose a location in a temperate climate and do the full climate analysis for it. In order to design a dynamic biomimicry sustainable pavilion using the assessment method in that location, the design should have a dynamic strategies that need to be simulated using the IES software and compare the results of the simulation with and without the pavilion, just to make sure that the users feel comfortable using the pavilion. Our project is located in the capital of the United Kingdom, which is London, specifically in the Hyde Park, which is located in the heart of the London, and it is considered as one of the eight royal parks. The neighborhood of the park is full of different attractions, such as Royal Albert Hall, Science Museum, and Church. Speaker Corner is located at the northeast edge of the Hyde Park, near of the Marble Arch and Oxford Avenue, where people used to speak loudly about their opinion. As we going inside the park, it's considered as a home to a number of unimportant attractions, monuments, fountains, and statues such as the Princess Diana Memories Fountain. the climate location we end up choosing three seasons which they are summer winter and autumn and select three different times of the day to do the simulation the sustainable assessment method that we used in this project is a preamp In order to have a dynamic, sustainable, and biomimicry design pavilion, rather than have a normal and rigid one, we try to come up with a new and unique concept to our design, which is jellyfish. Jellyfish or jellies are a type of invertebrate marine animals. There are many types of jellyfish, but they generally have an umbrella ship, bill, and trailing tentacles. Their sizes range from 1 mm to nearly 2 m in bill, height, and diameter. In order to imitate the shape and dynamic movement of the jellyfish, we need to understand its shape and structural features of the muscles and its body. The following figures show the features and the feeding movement of the jellyfish. First, 
the idea was to have only one jellyfish but later on we noticed that the jellyfish mostly noticed in a group so we decided to have more than one pavilion at the beginning of the design improvement we have three pavilions that have different diameters but in the final stage of the improvement we decided to have four main elements different in height and diameters for the sustainable strategies we need to take in consideration three main things which they are orientation ventilation and shading for the orientation we need to know exactly which pavilion need to be oriented at which side and also we need to know the location of the louvers for the ventilation we'll try to have and allow more natural ventilation inside the pavilion by having different heights for each one for the shading we need to know exactly which pavilion need to be fully shaded or not depending on the climate the techniques that we will be using in our design two main techniques which they are the umbrella technique open and closed and the vertical shading elements for the umbrella technique we will use it in the biggest pavilion using the hydraulic jack and the vertical shading elements will be attached to the other pavilions and will be louvers in our design we have four main dynamic strategies for strategy one we have only three pavilions without the biggest one it have three scenarios each scenario will be at 10 a.m. in different seasons you can see the location of the sun and location of the louvers at the edge of the pavilions in each scenario for strategy 2 you can see that we will use the four pavilions also this strategy have three main scenarios at 12 pm in each season the location of the sun and the louvers are indicated in each model For the third strategy, we also will have the four main pavilions. In this strategy, we will end up having two scenarios only at 3 pm in summer and 3 pm in autumn. In the fourth strategy, we will have only one scenario which will be at 3 pm in December. The analysis of the sun exposure was applied to the four movement strategies with all the scenarios. You can see the differences between the base case and the model for each strategy and scenario. reduction we can see the percentage of reduction for each strategy compared to the base case as you can see that the highest reduction for the south room is a strategy one and for the east west room is a strategy four the table shows the daylighting analysis for each month at different times in the day you can notice the differences between the base case which have too much glare compared to the room beneath the pavilion. factor and illuminance we will have the simulation for each month at three different times of the day which they are 10 a.m 12 p.m and 3 p.m 
for both the base case and model to see the average daylight illuminance after we put the pavilions. You can notice that in all the simulations after we put the model, the average daylight illuminance range between 600 up to 2000 lux which considered as a comfortable range. For the wind analysis, we have the simulations for the four strategies to see the external velocity and pressure. Also to know the internal ventilation velocity surfaces. Most of the results shows the good effects of the pavilion and louvers to decrease the wind speed which was in the base case more than 10 meter per second. <laughs> 